to the Empress Kina show. So today we're going to talk about the unpopular opinions of the Zodiacs. Yay! Yeah, that was so lame. Yay! Sorry, sometimes I get on camera, y'all, and I just be like, a little nervous. Anyway, first and the best sign, Aries. As a fellow Aries, I can attest to all of these things, and I just have to be fair. I'm going to talk a little bit of shit about every sign, including mine. But us Aries can be very impulsive. I like to say spontaneous, but we can make a little bit of rash decisions a little hastily, very quickly. Sometimes we can get ourselves in situations that aren't the best, especially when it comes to spending money. You don't think twice. Very hard-headed. Just listen for once. And I'm talking to myself and everybody. It's hard for us to just listen to people sometimes because we be feeling like, mm, I don't think you're right. Or we just don't be listening. Just listen. There's wisdom that's being given all the time. Listen. A little bit self-absorbed. Aries can be extremely rude. Just like, uh, I don't care. And Taurus, very materialistic people. They want that green and everything in between. I like to think of it as self-love at its finest. I mean, nobody gonna take care of a Taurus better than a Taurus, okay? Nobody's gonna give you the best present on Christmas than a Taurus, okay? I would just like to say to the Tauruses out there, just relax a little. It's okay to break the rules. Honestly, rules are meant to be broken. I really, truly, honestly believe that. And maybe you should try it sometime because I feel like you guys are a little bit uptight all the time. You guys are very stubborn too, but I actually respect the stubbornness. If you don't stand for anything, no, I said that wrong. If you don't stand, no, wait, okay. If you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. And honestly, I just feel like you guys really stand firmly on what you believe to be true. People look at that as you being unbending and kind of seem close-minded to some people. It's not that y'all aren't willing to learn new things. It's just that when people talking about stuff that y'all kind of understand about yourself, like that's not really for me. Then you like, okay, I don't really need to listen to this because I don't care. This is what I believe though. Hey, just rub people the wrong way because people be wanting you to agree with them and you be like, okay, but I don't. Change is inevitable. Allow it to happen. Thing. You cannot get upset every time something changes. You cannot stop change. Gemini's get a bad reputation for being fake or phony or two-faced. But honestly, they're really just chameleons. They know how to blend into any environment. They know how to shift their energy when it's needed to be shifted. They're the sign of duality. Oftentimes, people look at them as crazy, but honestly, they're really just trying to conserve themselves in the best way possible. Crazy, yes, but they're really deep thinkers. They can be quite philosophical, honestly. But Gemini's oftentimes get in their heads a little bit too much to the point where they can be a little cuckoo. That's why they get a little crazy because they think about stuff in their mind for too long and then they thinking that shit is happening in real life. You nuts. But last thing I gotta say to y'all Gemini's, can y'all fix y'all face? Like, do y'all know how to fix it? Because y'all face always stinks me. Every time I meet a Gemini, they face literally always stinks. Fix y'all goddamn face, bro. Somebody gonna slap y'all. Fix your face. Cancers. Cancers are very emotional. Cry, baby. It's a gift and a curse, honestly, because they are so emotional, they care about people on a deeper level, but because they care about people on a deeper level, sometimes they can care a little bit too much. Like, it's okay that the girl in the commercial did not get her beef or wrong when it rolled down the street, bro. You're not on camera, but I just don't know what noise you finna make. You don't have to whisper, because I'm gonna edit you out. Like, y'all, can y'all go one day without crying? One week? One month? Like, I literally don't know anybody that cries more than a cancer. Very cautious people when it comes to their emotions and their feelings. Very, very protective towards people that they love, too. Very sweet and gentle. Truly harmless unless you piss them off. They have this harder exterior to themselves. Open up, dude. Let us in. Y'all got this little hard shell, but on the inside, you're just a soft little crab. Leo's extremely loud extremely extra extremely everything they're just an extreme sign i honestly enjoy it though i think leos are fun like who wants to be around boring people like can you say you know a boring leo i can't they live 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 for the drama okay they might as well be reality tv stars or some type of superstar it just revs them up Ooh, what are they doing? Ooh, did you hear it? they have the biggest hearts that's what i really respect so much about leos they are not afraid to show their feelings or express how they feel you don't know if they like you if they don't like you if they upset if they mad if they angry if they happy or all in one Fearless lions, but they can be a little jealous. Leos are jealous people in general because when a spotlight not on them, it's like, okay, well, I think the show's over here. Virgos perfectionist honestly that's really not necessarily a bad thing it's almost to their detriment in some sense but also to their higher attainment of goals in life like they're gonna be successful don't get me wrong but it's just so annoying because every little detail matters to them every single little detail and it's like chill bro but at the same time it's kind of what makes them successful like i can name five name five mm -hmm. successful virgos right off the top of my head right off the top of my head yonce michael jackson Okay, Beyonce and Michael Jackson, that's big enough. Flaws are not defects. Repeat after me. Flaws are not defects. I literally gotta be on a test. I don't know how I'm gonna get through my life now. Hey, there are people dying. Creepily organized, but there's methods to their madness. Virgos literally know how to get the job done right. I'm just
try to find myself Sometimes I feel alone like I'm by myself I even ask why myself But can't forget that I'm still blessed